delays, cancellations and strikes. Months of travel chaos at Southern Rail have led to misery for commuters. Sean Ruddy says it's now affecting his health. It's just a nightmare like every day. I mean, I'm just, I get to work just, uh, I'm not one like a person to be down, but I get to work actually depressed. Like, like yesterday, I was like an hour late for work. I've just had like a, a baby a few months ago as well, so I'm getting home every late. I don't really get to see my child and my missus as well. So it's just like, yeah, it's just depressing really. The chaos has been caused by a bitter dispute with unions over the role of guards and staff shortages. On Thursday, the government pledged £20 million to sort out the problems, which seem to be getting worse. In July, Southern introduced an emergency timetable, cancelling 341 trains a day. From next week, many trains will be reintroduced, but there will also be another two days of strikes, the fifth walkout since April. Meanwhile, profits of Southern Rail's co-owner Go Ahead have risen by more than a quarter to almost £100 million. They're awash with money, they're hoarding it, they're giving it to their shareholders, but one thing they're not doing is looking after the passengers, uh, and that's an absolute disgrace, and that, as far as I'm concerned, uh, is something that the government should look at and see whether or not they should continue with the franchise. Go Ahead, who jointly run the Southern Rail franchise, say they're introducing new trains to improve services. Their chief executive, who's turned down a pay rise and bonus, said in a statement, during this period of change, Southern services have been disrupted by restricted network capacity, strike action and increased levels of absence. We apologise to the people whose lives have been affected during this time. The many commuters have had enough. I know they're striking again next week. I'm going to have to take two days off work because I can't get to work. It's affecting a lot of people's lives and uh, we need to get it sorted. The company that runs Southern says they're doing their best. Passengers just want things to get better. Leila Hayes, 5 News.